Today, I would like to talk with you about an important study that had shed light on early aging in patients with lamin AC gene mutations. We hypothesized that such patients could have biological age which is older than the chronological age, and our study aimed to investigate this possibility and its impact on patients' care. Hi everyone, my name is uh, Shahar Shelley. I'm a senior neurologist at the Rambam Medical Center and the head of uh, the neuromuscular division in our neurology department. I'm extremely excited today to share our newly published paper titled Accelerated Aging in LMNA Mutations Detected by Artificial Intelligence ECG-Derived Age that will be published at the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Just last week it was published online and it could not have been done unless we had a great collaborative approach by the Neurology and Cardiology Divisions at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Led by Dr. Lopez from Cardiology and Dr. Miloni from Neurology Department. Our study utilized previously trained convolutional neural network models to predict biological age. We did so by an ECG. LMNA patients who were evaluated from 2003 to 2019 were collated and created a one big database. We compared the findings with age and sex match controls. We discovered that AI ECG predicted that LMNA patients have a biological age which is older than the chronological age and accelerated aging even in the absence of cardiac abnormalities. This translates into early medical intervention and can serve as a disease biomarker in today's era in which a lot of biological therapies are developed. This is a new and exciting finding and I hope this could help future researchers in the future. Mayo Clinic has allowed us uh, and enabled us to uh, create this manuscript by creating a, a warm, innovative group that combine and cultivate different areas of specialties together in one room to create one product. I'm very proud to be part of this big group and I hope this group would continue to publish in the future. The next steps for this line of research would obviously be using it together with a new biological drug trying to treat those rare diseases and to use it as a biomarker, as a real biomarker for patients care to see. If it's very difficult to see today, uh, we don't have a good biomarker for genetic changes. So if we have a functional biomarker or machine learning assisted device to know if a therapy helps or not or if a patient gets better or worse, that could be extremely illuminating for the patients and the physicians. I want to thank uh, Mayo Clinic Proceedings for allowing us to show our research to the public and the big world. I want to thank again uh, Margarita Miloni from the Neurology Department and Francisco Lopez from the Cardiology Department together with Zaki Atia. All together we created this uh, a fascinating manuscript and I hope you would find time to read it. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.